Hey everybody, it's Derek with Diesel Derek and the Brew and Happy Feed X3 on Instagram. Hope you guys are having a great day. It was beautiful, it's snowy, it looked pretty outside. Today it's gotten into the 39, almost 40, so it's kind of melty and wet. But it's still a great day to go for a walk and enjoy the air. Um, this week, I wanted to talk about tithing. And the way I wanted to do it was this way. In Genesis, Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel. And both of them were given authority to take care of different areas. Cain watched over the flock. Abel watched over the animals. And after so long, you were to give a tithe or a portion of it to God. And Abel brought the best fats and stuff from his flock, gave it to God. He was happy with it. Abel went around and grabbed the produce off of the ground and gave it to God. And God was pleased with Abel and angry at Cain. Because Abel took time and got the firstborn and processed it and gave it to God. And Cain just went around and picked up the fruit off the ground and said, here you go. And God's like, no, 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 that ain't going to work. So the next day, or probably a couple days later, Cain goes, hey, let's go out to the farmlands. And Cain murders his brother. The next day, God goes, hey, Cain, where's your brother? Schemishly, just coward in debt. And God cursed him and his generations after him because of what he had done. And that just goes to show, when you take the time to give your best, whether that's your time, your money, whatever you own, use it to his glory and give it the the best of its ability to God and say this is yours first God because you've blessed it with me he will then bless you the other scripture I have for you is out of Malachi 3 they had fallen away from giving their best to God they were just giving scraps or forgetting it like they'd oh we have this lamb separated forget about it and give God something else he's like why are you doing this you're not giving me your best and so then he gave them a challenge of out of your first crop give me 10 percent and put it away in the storehouse first and i will then bless you 10 and you will not run dry your crop won't go bad i'll protect your crop from then on they did that and that's what i'm saying to you guys your first whether that be because some people can't give money because they're pension pennies whether that be your time you give you set at the beginning of the month you set upon time purposely to give to god for his glory whether that's money you set aside at the beginning of the month before even the month starts you go nope when it starts out i'm going to give this first when you set that portion aside to god first he will then honor that as he says in malachi 3 test me on this i believe it's the only time in the bible he says test me on this challenge me and i will prove you I will bless you. That's what I have for today, guys, is for tithing. But not just tithing, like giving a portion of it to God, because that's how I used to do it. When I heard giving your first, I changed the way I did things, and I would give my first, whether that's money, or I would set aside my time for God first. I wouldn't give him the leftovers. Like the, I, you, I used to set apart the tithe, and it may be like the last week of whatever month, and then I would give it up. I would have it set aside, but I would give it at the end of the month, not give him his first. And after I heard this lesson, I started giving my first. And I challenge you guys as well to, while you're growing in Christ in this new year, to give God your first of whatever you are capable to give. And bless God with giving your first. Your first of the day, your first money, your first however you want to do it but give him your best as it said in genesis with cain and abel the one gave his best the other one just picked up the scraps give god the best first and then he will then bless you on the other as it goes on that's what i have for today guys and if you need help sometimes it helps to have a buddy on your side to challenge you be like hey just to have double checking. Hey, did you remember to set this aside? And be like, oh crap, I forgot. And be like, no worries. God will forgive you. You can start again next month. But it's always good to have sometimes somebody who will have your back and remind you of these times. 
And if you haven't accepted Christ, as I'm talking about, um, it's as simple as this, follow after me. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I ask for your forgiveness for all my sins. I ask that you would come into my heart and you would make me clean. You would go throughout my entire heart and my mind and my soul. Clean me out. Make me a new vessel, white as snow. Be that first crop, brand new, to be used for your glory. I ask that you would come into my heart. And you would fill me up with your joy, with your peace, with your wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, guys. God bless.